Welcome to this session on adding quizzes, assignment drop boxes, and discussions into your content area so that your students can more easily access it. By the end of this session, you should be able to add an existing assignment, quiz, or discussion to your content. Now, you may be asking, why would I do this? You're doing it because you don't want your students to expend unnecessary brain power to find how to submit an assignment, quiz, or discussion. You want them to focus their efforts and energy on the actual assignment, quiz, or discussion. So adding everything to content allows the students to flow more quickly and easily through all of the materials, making sure that they don't miss something. So let's get started. I'm gonna begin in my Oaks content, and I get to content by clicking on the content link in the upper navigation. I would like to add this assignment Dropbox here into my assignment files. So the students will go through all of this, read my instructions, but then I wanna make it easy for them to submit it. So I'm gonna place the assignment Dropbox right here within my content. And I do that by choosing the Add Existing Activities. The name implies that this has to already exist somewhere in my Oaks course. So I have to have already created this assignment in the Oaks assignment tool. So I'm gonna choose the drop down menu and I'll choose Assignment Dropbox. And from here, it shows me all of the Dropboxes. I'm gonna choose this one and you'll notice it places it right here within my content. So now as the students are flowing through, look at this bio and then I have instructions on what they should do for their assignment. They can access those instructions here and they can click immediately on this to submit the assignment. So let's do the same with quizzes and discussions. I'm gonna choose add existing activity up here at the top and let's choose quiz. And for this module, I'd like them to take quiz five. And now you'll see quiz five has been added to my module. Likewise, if I would like them to participate in a discussion, I'll choose add existing activities, choose discussion. So here I'll choose the discussion topic. And now that has been added into my Oaks content. Again, this is just a fast and easy way to add other tools into your content to prevent your students from having to search throughout the entire course to figure out where to submit things or where to participate. You're placing it all in a nice organized structure within your content flow.